Michael Smith, I'm live with Eddie Fox, artist extraordinaire over at Forest Suites. We're talking about your, your blues art fest here. Tell me what you got going right here. Well, what I've done and what I'm showing today is a number of landscapes that are imaginary, but kind of to scale. Something that shows representation of color, of form, um, of earth, of air, and water. Um, three elements I'm pretty proud of. And, uh, this one is actually inspired mostly by, by Alaska, Northern Lights. Uh, I really liked, I've never been to Alaska, and it's one of those places that I guess to be one of these days. So this is the imaginary part of it for me, is where I want to be. Well, going uh, right to left, also you have some similar landscape. Are these, are these from like National Geographic as a kid or something? Or no, is not this at something all. that you saw on your person? No, not at all. To be completely real realistic and honest about it, I had tons of blue paint. And that's the, the honest answer. I had tons of blue paint to use. And I wanted to do something uh, with cool colors. Um, purples, blues, pur you know, uh, lighter shades of red, even though that's a warm color, complements the blues, and of course a lot of greens. So this has been my attempt to create a cool um, that are tricky to look at, you know? Yeah, and you said you're, you're self-taught. I'm self-taught. Um, I'm about two years into this now. Only two years? Um, Two years of, I've done three or four shows and over the past couple of years. Uh, so, I tell you, Forest Suites, is a, this is a nice room. You've got a lot of nice friends here. Nice 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 we, uh, we just snagged away. John took a break, but John Newman's an excellent blues guitarist. John's a great blues guitarist and just a good friend of mine and very supportive of my art. Um, anytime I've had a show, he's, he's lent um, criticism that I need. Um, he's lent praise that I like, and he's also just been that guy to kind of be on the side of me and say, keep doing it, you know, and that, that's what I love about him. Well, that's the kind of friend we all need, but, yeah. but also you have family and friends here. You're, family, you're, friends, you're little boys here. Yeah, so he's, he's like, said so he can do it too. I heard him. <laughs> he's talking, and I can do that too. He's very observant, and he, he'll sit in the room and he'll watch me. He'll sit and pet the dog. The dog will sit there and watch me as well. And after about an hour, you know, he gets a break from it, but he's very observant. And it's curious about uh, what brush strokes, what kind of teeth I'm using, what pad it is I'm using, what's in the hole. Well, I also heard you're a morning person and you get up like real early and do your, your painting. I do. I know. You have like, you have your own room, so it's I quiet. Do. You must have heard that from Jess, but yeah, uh, four o'clock in the morning is when I get up pretty much every day. Um, that's when I feel the most creative. My mind's uncluttered. Um, I don't have anything else in my mind besides waking up in that Christmas of, I have an image in my head and I think I want to put that down. Um, every painting in here is done within a day, even the large grand ones I, I do within six hours. And it's uh, usually because I have that thought process in my head early in the morning and it's clear and it takes me very little time to put it on canvas. So when you wake up, you already have this in your mind, which you're going to do. As you can see, we have a wall full of beautiful, beautiful art. And a lot of blue paint, but I love blue, so it's good for me. Well, we're in Tahoe, too. It kind of seems like that. Well, if you like about your, uh, your contact information, what we got you, sure, sure. here. Yeah, um, if you'd like to reach me, um, you can reach me at Facebook, actually, is the easiest way. Um, my page is Studio Wabasabi. Um, and you could also just hit me as a friend request, Eddie Fox, if you'd like to I have an email address. It's eddiefox1 at gmail.com. And you could also hit me up there, and I'd be happy to uh, commission any pieces, um, to send photos of past pieces, anything like that that, that strikes up. Last question, how'd you get that studio name? What's the, what's the deal? Is it your son saying something? No, wabi-sabi is a Japanese word. I'm half Japanese. My mother's Japanese. Excellent. I'm very proud of that. Um, Wabi-sabi means literally finding beauty in things that are imperfect. I love that. Um, and I think a lot of my paintings, you know, no one's painting is perfect, and as an artist, you're never really perfect. So I wanted to use that concept to promote my studio. Although I work very hard and um, put a lot of myself into my paintings, they're always going to be flawed to some extent. But if you can look at those flaws and find beauty in it, that's where I find the grandness. Uh, I find a lot, of, a lot of beauty in your work, and I'm, you, I'm proud of your family. Thank you. 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 Thank you